Police spokesperson Superintendent Leminai has in a press earlier today at the Bakote Police Station explained how two Nigerians, one 46-year-old and a 36-year-old, got caught after being recognized as thieves that follow people in various banks using a motorbike to rob. We are here today to report on the uh, case of two Nigerian nationals, the ones that you are seeing over there. Um, uh, one is called um, uh, Solomon Obilo, um, a 46-year-old Nigerian, and the other one is called um, uh, Mentus Tunde. He is also a 36-year-old Nigerian. Actually, the reason why these people are here is because um, uh, these individuals are being caught um, on a particular crime which they are specialized in doing, and that is um, they follow their uh, victims to, the, to their banks and observe them. In fact, they lay some kind of a surveillance for this particular individual while he or she goes on with withdrawing cash from the bank. And uh, they always uh, mark out people who uh, withdraw bulk cash from their banks, and then uh, one of them will be in the bank while the other one is sitting on a motorbike outside waiting for you. The moment you withdraw your cash and you are out and about going, then uh, he will signal or call this other individual to tell the person he is on his way coming out. And the motorbike owner will mark you. As soon as the other person comes out, then they will follow you on, on their bike. Wherever you go, they will be following you without your knowledge until you park your car at any uh, play point, then they will decide to come over, break the car glasses and steal money that you have put in the car. Or in certain instances, they could even forcefully rob you uh, when you carry the money back with you. Mr. Njai also added that these two individuals are migrant criminals. He said after stealing, they fly out of the country and come back again. But unfortunately, this time around, they were caught. These people are sort of like migrant criminals. Uh, what, is, what they do is they come to the Gambia seasonally because these people you are seeing from the passports that we are having, they have entered into the Gambia just this past Saturday, meaning that it was on Saturday that they came into the Gambia. And after Saturday, Sunday, they bought this motorbike you are seeing brand new motorbike they bought. It has not been registered anywhere in the Gambia and they are using it running around in town following people at the bank. And what we have gathered as far as our experience is concerned is the fact that they do this once, twice or so and they gather the money and they flee out of the country within the nearest possible time. So unfortunately for these people, this time around they could not get away with this and they are being caught. Superintendent Jaya told the press that these two were caught as they were robbing an individual who withdrew $120,000. In this instance where they got caught, they were um, robbing that individual of $120,000. The individual um, um, withdrew uh, $120,000 from his bank and he put the money in his car. When he, the money was in his car on his way going, they followed him also. And so it was at the point when they were taking this $120,000 from his car. Mr. Njai used the opportunity to commend the general public for their continuous support in ensuring that criminals are caught. He also encouraged all to continue sharing information with the police to cover the spread of violent crimes. Tiffany's view, Matisengo, 